Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, Bahashim Waha Ruka Kodash, Wahamath, double honors to the apostles and elders, of great millstone. Much love, peace, and, and joy. Much love, peace, and blessings to the hopeful elect out there <laughs> that's pushing the truth across the four corners of, of the globe. Yeah, I also said joy, joy to the elect out there in this troublesome world, you know. I'm the brother Naba Ayasha, the gym at Indianapolis camp. Come on another episode to get your mind right. Today we're going to be dealing with Psalms chapter 140 and also Psalms chapter 141 because it's going into Yehobah Shimei Awashai destroying Esau, which is the so-called white man, and his wicked devices. Part of his devices is what? These false doctrines that he got being pushed out here across the globe. Mainly to what? Destroy Israel, to further distract them from knowing who they are, the nationality and heritage of knowing that they're what? Israelites. Because now you got Esau pushing this doctrine that Yahweh Shai never existed or that it was other people beside Yahweh Shai that was on this earth doing the same thing that Yahweh Shai was doing. See what I'm saying? Trying to say that he was not a great man, that these other fa false gods and false doctrines are is better than he was or he never existed. Because it's bad enough. Because see, in this captivity we've been in here in America, Esau, the so-called white, white man, has been doing his best to destroy Israel from keeping them from knowing that their true power, which is who you have by Shemia Vashai. That's why he's been coming up with these doctrines of allowing you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans to grow up in these wicked churches, calling yourself what, Baptist, Presbyterian, Episcopalian, you know what I'm saying, Roman Catholic, uh, what else? Mormon, Jehovah Witness, Scientology, Islam, Egyptology, Black Consciousness, you know, uh, what else? Uh, Pentecostal and all this other nonsense. Uh, now, where well, they, they got the thing called inclusion and non-denominational and all this other nonsense, man. When you Negroes, Latino, and Native Americans are the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the children of the true power who the world called God and Jesus Christ. So this is Psalms chapter 140. I'm going to start at verse 8. It says, Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. And what's part of the desires of the wicked right now? Who is the wicked? Esau, the so-called white man. Like it's telling Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Right now, he's ruling this earth. He's ruling this world. With what? These false doctrines. You see what I'm saying? It said, Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. What else is the desires of the wicked? To kill you Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. Mainly the elect of Israel. Which you see the men of GMS doing what the elect would do. And that's going out here, what? Preaching this word. Putting up videos like you're watching right now. To what? To debunk and destroy the lies of Esau. To destroy the veil that's covering our people's eyes, man. These lies is being told out here. And our people are falling for a hook, line, and sinker. See what I'm saying? They falling for Esau's lies like his gospel. You even, I even seen videos on YouTube where you got Israelites that, that that's trying, you know what I'm saying, to, to come across the truth. They don't fully know the truth, but they understand the basics that they're Israelite and that Esau, the so-called white man, is the devil. They understand that. And they trying their best to, to preach the Bible to come against Esau and his lies, the white man and his lies, his false doctrine. And they're destroying them, but es Esau, just like the, the devil, the snake, the dragon that he is, that old serpent, he trying to slither his way into salvation or saying that the, the Lord came for everybody and not just Israel. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Salaki. Shalom, bro. I'm doing a video right now. Uh, are you, you good? I'm going to hit you right back. All right, Shalom. You see what I'm saying? With the with the lies out here, man, trying to destroy the the mentality of Israel, man. But you got Israelites just waking up to the fact that they're Israel. You know what I'm saying? They trying their best to to push the, the doctrine of Israel, even though they don't fully have a hundred percent true. But they at least trying to, to to tear down the lies of these white men. See what I'm saying? But Esau always trying to find a way to slither back into salvation or slither back and, and to throwing itself into the, the deliverance of Yahweh Shai. Even though they trying to say that Yahweh Shai don't exist, but yet they trying to slither into salvation. 
that shows you the wickedness of this white man. Back in Psalm 140 and 8, it said, Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, meaning what? Put put a stop to his wicked devices, which is what? These false doctrines, man. It's, it's bad enough our, our people's serving slavery in captivity, not knowing who they are, man. Calling themselves black or, uh, you know what I'm saying, African-American or a gang member or crip blood or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Anything but Israel, it's, it's sad enough they're doing this. But yet, here come Esau, the so-called white man, with his lies. See what I'm saying? That that you're not an Israelite, that you're a, you're a Baptist. That you're that everybody's Israel or don't nobody know who the Israelites are. Don't nobody know who the Edomites are. Or they claim that, yeah, we're the Edomites, but we're also the real Jews of the Bible. Okay, so where they lead a the Negro Latino Native America? That they, they just a bunch of nobodies that exist on this planet? See what I'm saying? <coughs> what the uh <coughs> What they just on this planet catching hell for no reason? <coughs> you see what I'm saying? These are the lies that Esau is telling. <coughs> you see what I'm saying? <coughs> These are the lies that Esau, the so-called white man, is telling to what further destroy our people, man, to keep them from knowing who they are, according to the Bible, keep them from knowing their heritage, you know, saying their history, their nationality, keep them from knowing that what this book right here, this Bible is made for you Negroes, Latino and Native Americans and not these white people, man. It says, uh, Psalms 148, grant not, O Lord the desires of the wicked further not his wicked devices lest they exalt themselves meaning what lest they let don't let them exalt themselves or lift themselves up on high destroy them see what i'm saying this is a prayer from king david our forefather see what i'm saying it said to the chief musician a psalm of david so this is a song of king david our forefather not you white people forefathers only Israel, Negro, Latino, Native American. That's our forefather. It said, uh, as for the head of those that compass me about, meaning all you wicked people that's in rulership, all you heathens, you white people, you Africans, you Japanese, you Chinese, you Hawaiians, you East Indians, you Arabs, all those that's, that's in, in, in authority or, or in rule that's ruling this world, as for the head of those that compass me about, because all y'all are trying to come against the children of Israel, man. That's your main focus is what? Knock Israel out from being a nation, like it said in Psalms 80, 82. No, Psalms 83rd chapter. 82nd or 83rd chapter. See what I'm saying? It said, uh, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Meaning, let them be destroyed by their own mouths. And their own tongue is destroying them because why? You got other Edomites are speaking out against Edomites. That's, that's talking about the wickedness of Esau and that the children of Israel are you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. You see what I'm saying? So their own tongue is destroying them. It said, uh, let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. Meaning what? Let let you how about Shimao Shai destroy these wicked people, man, that's trying to destroy his children, Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, uh, let not an evil speaker who is at Esau, he's the number one main evil speaker, even though he hires people of our own nation of Israel to come against Israel, to come against the Israelite so-called movement is not a movement it's our nationality and heritage but they like to call it a black hebrew israelite movement no this is us waking up to the fact that we're israel again coming to our coming back to our raw form our ancient civilizations man we come coming back to our, our language of hebrew we're coming back to our old practices of, and ways of what burning incense resins you know what i'm saying to 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 you how about shimmy off a shot as, as we're offering ourselves up as a sacrifice. We're offering our bodies up as an altar and a, a sacrifice to you. How about Shimei Abishai? The brotherhood is getting tighter, a, a more tight knit uh, body now. You see what I'm saying? Brothers are getting closer to one another, man. The love is in, increasing in the brotherhood of, of Great Millstone. Brothers are getting more, being more of a united front against Esau and against these wicked two thirds of our own people. 
See what I'm saying? It said, let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits that they rise not up again. Let not an evil speaker be established in earth. Meaning what? You how about Shema was shy, Shalak Rayam to this white man and his false doctrine, man. Destroy this false doctrine, man. You see what I'm saying? It says, evil shall hunt the violent man. Who's the violent man? Esau, the so-called white man. He's the violent man. He rules the earth in violence and terrorism. But he want to call the, the Ishmaelites the, the, the terrorists. No, you white people are the real terrorists. You don't want to try to rule by by fear and terror. See what I'm saying? Keep every everybody walking on eggshells to be afraid to do anything against you. But yet to the Negro, Latino, the Americans, you, you you make them feel like they can do anything to destroy us. That it's okay and comfortable to to call us proverbs and bywords, niggas and spicks and Uncle Tomahawks or, or red skins or no good niggas, porch monkeys, coons or moon crickets. See what I'm saying? It's okay for all these other nations to disrespect us, but when it comes to you, that's a no-no. It says, uh, I know the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. Who is the afflicted? That's you Israelites, you Negro, Latino, and Native American. Everywhere you go, you get harassed. Everywhere you go, you get talked down upon. Everywhere you go, you get frowned upon on. Everywhere you go, people make ridicule of you and talk crazy about you. See what I'm saying? It says, Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. Call Halal Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. It said, The upright shall dwell in thy presence. What's part of the presence? This word right here, this truth. We're constantly meditating upon these precepts, man. See what I'm saying? This is Psalm 141, and I'm going to start at verse 4. Go straight to the point. It said, Incline not my heart to any evil thing. Meaning, don't turn my mind to any evil thing like these false doctrines out here. Because a lot of our people are getting swept away like a flood by these false doctrines, man. Now they're starting to question their, their own faith. Ooh, did Yahweh Shah, did Jesus really exist? You know what I'm saying? All the doctrines of the apostles is false. So really they're saying that they don't believe in Yahweh Shah. Because that's the doctrine that the apostles is teaching us and that we're going out here preaching through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. See what I'm saying? We preaching Bahashem Waha Raka Kodash. We're preaching in the name of the Holy Spirit, man. See what I'm saying? But you saying that you don't believe because you're trying to change the doctrine. See what I'm saying? You know who you are. It says, uh, incline not my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, starting out with who? The so-called white man on down to you other heathen nations, even two-thirds of, of our own people. The children of Israel, two-thirds of Israel. You Negro, Latino, Native American. You practice wicked works too. With what? These wicked men. That's out here teaching false doctrine. Some of y'all out here teaching false doctrine. Because why? You fall for the okie-dokie this white man, man. When I seen that video, man, that the brother told me about, about these uh, ten stories that predates Yahweh Shai, as soon as I saw it, I seen it was some BS, man. You can't convince me that Yahweh Shai never existed, man. Just walk out your door and look up in the sky, man. You got to be a damn fool not to believe that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the world called God and Jesus Christ, never existed or didn't create this every, everything that you see. How is you able to see? How is you able to breathe? How is you able to walk and talk and hear, taste, smell, and listen? Without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You sure can't do it on your own. You can't even cure yourself of a common cold. So how is it that, that Yahweh Shai never turned water into wine or that he never walked on the water? Hell, even some of us brothers in this truth have experienced spiritual power on a low level. Understanding this, these words right here is spiritual power on a low level. See what I'm saying? We didn't seen chariots, man. That's spiritual power. We didn't seen brothers get healed. That's spiritual power. We didn't call on the name of Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai and he didn't stepped in and worked on our behalf, man. He done bless us with goods and gifts. See what I'm saying? I'm sitting right here in a miracle right now. The Lord blessing me and my family with a new home, man. See what I'm saying? That's a miracle in itself. But yeah, you got folks out here trying to say that Yahweh Shai never existed. Or that it's other people that was greater than him. Who? 
Who gave up their life for their they brethren, the children of Israel? Who? Because without him, man, we'd, we'd all been destroyed by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. And you got our folks out here believing this nonsense, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is always delivering us from the beginning of time. And you got idiots of Israel, of our own people, you Negro, Latino, Native Americans that want to take side with this funk-ass white man. You deserve to be destroyed, man. Two-thirds deserve to die, man. You don't believe in the Lord. You believe in, in this white man. You believe in Satan, his God. You don't believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. But yet you say you love the Lord. But yet you do everything uh uh opposite of what the Lord tell you to do. The Lord tell you not to do this, you go and do it, because the white man says so. That's why two thirds gotta die, man. It says this is Psalm one hundred forty one and four. Incline not my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity. And let me not eat of their dainties, meaning what? Their luxuries or their pleasures. I don't want to enjoy the the, the fruits of, the, of this wicked world, man. Just just give, give me neither poverty nor riches, but such as be that sufficient for me, man. Give me my daily bread. See what I'm saying? Give me what I need to survive on and take care of my family. Forget this world, man. Ain't nothing in this world. This world dead. America's done. See what I'm saying? These people here are done. They're in a zombified state of mind, man. You can look at these people and look at them. They, they look like robots being controlled by this white man. They just do stupid stuff for no reason, man. And you sitting there shaking your head like, why the hell this dummy do this, man? Because they're being controlled by who? Satan. Satan got these the, the, his puppets out here, man. You people fall for the okie doke because you love it. The Lord tell you not to do this. You can't. Oh, that's too hard. I can't do that. I got to eat my pork. I work around people, man, and I hear their conversations. See what I'm saying? People lose their eyesight because they don't want to do what's right. But yet they continue being in their wickedness, man. Even though they lose their eyesight, they still love being wicked, man. Do I feel sorry for them? Nope. I know that's judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. I just thank the Lord that I ain't in that condition, man. You see what I'm saying? That just made me shed light on my own life. Made me examine myself even more, man. But you people out here don't see it, man. You you love being in your wickedness, man. And Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you, man. You see what I'm saying? To all these doctrines out here that this white man got, man. <laughs> yeah, how about she now shot gonna destroy it, man? Quick, fast, in a hurry, man. It's lucky I was trying to find another script right quick. Ah. This is Proverbs chapter 19, verse 1. It said, Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. That's right. It's better for us to be poor financially, you know what I'm saying, and walketh in your integrity. Walk with, with some, some type of moral characteristics, man, in your uprightness. What gives you integrity? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of this Bible right here. See what I'm saying? That's what make you a man. That's what make you righteous. That's what make you a better person. That's that's what make you walk w with your head on straight, man. It's this this Bible right here. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of you. How about Shimei was shot words, man. So it's best to be poor and and with integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. What is being perverse in your lips? Speaking all this nonsense, these false doctrines, trying to say Yahweh Shad never existed, trying to give all praise to Horus. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Giving praise to Satan on the low. That's being perverse in your lips, man. See what I'm saying? So with that, all praises to you. How about Shimei Abishai? Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And much love, peace, and blessing to all your hopeful elect brothers out there that's pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. With that, Abba, Baba, Shalom.